Hi everyone, it's Nicole McWork for Simple Stories and today I have a layout and card share featuring sunshine elements on both projects. The first is this layout where I have used a sunshine on both the title block and then I have created some circles that I have tucked one of the um, 3x3 Insta squares behind. So what I did first was I designed I just drew some circles actually in the Silhouette software and then I used the offset feature to make a circle about a quarter of an inch bigger for each one and then I, re I moved the smaller circles out of the way and I cut that larger circle, that offset one, out of the Say Cheese text or um, kind of newspaper looking paper here. From simple, this is one of the Simple Stories collections, their Say Cheese um, collection. And then the black tone on tone paper, also from that Say Cheese collection, I cut the smaller circle out of so that when you layer the text paper on the black, it gives that nice black circle outline, as well as I have that outline all the way around the, the newspaper print paper. Then I tucked some of the summer snap journaling cards behind each of those circles for bright pops of color and one of those was actually uh, the sunshine design which I did make sure that my circle in the silhouette software was big enough to accommodate that sunshine shape. I'm matting everything then on another black and white paper but this one is actually from the DIY boutique collection and I love that so many of the papers in the Simple Stories collections mix and match so well together and you can use them all together. So what I did was go through my collections and look for black and white designs. I knew because I was using these bright yellows and reds that I wanted the rest of the page to really have a subtle black and white type look so that the color really popped. Same goes for these little black and white strips here. I trimmed those from a 6x6 sheet of paper from the DIY Boutique 6x6 paper pad. And I'm framing up that 4x6 journaling card that I'm using for the title of my page with those pa pattern paper strips. I tucked one of those, um, the office journaling little pieces. You can see I used the arrow there and then also the tab up at the top, the file tab. I printed some journaling on the file tab and then tucked that behind the title card and then on the other one I layered on a sticker from the Say Cheese cardstock sticker sheet and then the hearts are all from different sticker sheets whether they be the Say Cheese or Good Day Sunshine. Um, I just kind of went through and found heart stickers in any of the collections that I liked and used them here as well as the little thought bubble sticker that I placed on one of those sunshine elements that's from a DIY collection sticker sheet just mix and match have fun I really kind of just grabbed a whole bunch of things that I thought would go together and then laid them out on my page and I ended up trying to really stick with the color theme that I had going for my design which was the black white and yellow and red I'm finishing my page by adding some little word stickers here and there and I decided I liked I popped up that red heart sticker because I liked that phrase sticker coming off of the left side of that circle at the top of my page. I'm gonna finish adding phrase stickers from both Say Cheese and Good Day Sunshine on the photo collage uh, photos on my page. This is a 6x8 photo collage from Carrie Bradford and I, it's from her half pint collection or kit and I trimmed mine apart so that three of those photos would be up above my title block and then the rest of them, the other nine, are below. And that was just a conscious choice on my part. I looked for a photo collage that was six inches wide because I knew I wanted to use this journaling card from the Summer Snap collection and I thought it would be fun to have photos both above and below it. So I just am simply finishing up with some glossy accents on top of the heart stickers and added a few brads and my page is complete. For my card, 
I went with some manual die cuts and used the Summer Snap cards in a different way where I used them more as pattern paper. So I took several of the 4x6 cards and used this hexagon background die from Simon Says Stamp and die cut it from all of those colors because I wanted to piece together my background creating an inlay design. I also used this banner from My Favorite Things to die cut that 3x4 card which is going to be the focal point of my card. It has the greeting and the embellishment even though the background of the card took a little bit more work as you will see. This is that hexagon die from my, uh, pardon me, from Simon Says Stamp and I'm just popping all these pieces out and putting them in little piles on my desk and then I will get to putting them all back together to create the inlay. One of the great things about an inlay design is when you're working with die cuts, I could have just die cut them or die cut some hexagons and created a background on a piece of paper. But there's still a slight dimension. No, there's not a lot, but there'll be a little bit. What I love about inlay is that you take a sheet and you're going to place all of those little in this instance hexagons inside of the cutout hexagon background and it's going to be flat and I just I love the look of that so you're taking something and kind of it's almost like a puzzle and piecing it all back together and it just it's one of my favorite techniques right now I'm gonna pop all these out um, I'm gonna do that with the rest of the four by six cards you see there on the left of the screen won't show you all of those simply because it's a little bit time consuming running them through and then I will start putting together my card. Now I trimmed another piece of white card stock approximately the same size as this hexagon background so that I have something to place that on and to adhere those inlay pieces to. So I just did white on white there. I die cut the background again from a white piece of cardstock because I really like the white border. It brings out the white polka dots and all of these little uh, die cut hexagon polka dot pieces. And then I'm simply going to piece it all back together. I'm using a little zig glue to place in each of those little cutout shapes and then I'll pop in all of these little bits of color. Now you might have seen me using an eraser there on a, a pencil. Sometimes if you get a little bit of glue where it's not supposed to go, like I must have gotten a little bit on my finger and then moved it and got it on some of that white outlined part, when it dries it will pick up like dirt and oil and things from your hands. And what I like to do is if the glue is all the way dry, I will just uh, take that eraser and just kind of lightly go over that little area where it might have a smudge and it usually picks up that adhesive and I haven't ruined my project. Now I did have to pop off a couple of the hexagons which was no big deal because I have so many extras but I didn't want any I didn't want two colors of the same uh, like two yellows or anything together and I had miscalculated so I just popped those up before the glue dried too much. Now I did die cut another banner from some vellum paper to place behind my greeting as well. I trimmed a little bit of stripe paper from another 3x4 card or 4x6 card and placed it along the top of my banner just for a little pop of color because it, I just felt like there was a lot of white there and with such a bright background I wanted a little pop of color. And then I took one of these glasses stickers from one of the DIY uh, sticker sheets and I'm adding a little matte medium from Ranger to the inside of each and I'm going to glue these wiggle eyes in place inside the glasses. I just I thought they were a really fun touch and they really make that the whole design come to life. I love wiggle eyes. If you follow my blog at all you might see that I use them quite a bit on little critter uh, stamps and things like that and I thought they were a fun addition to a pre-printed sunshine design on a card they would have been cute without the glasses as well, but I think that gla those glasses stickers really just kind of make the whole design pop. I wrapped a little bit of orange twine around the top of my banner, and I'm going to tie it in a bow and secure it with, 
Again, some of that Ranger matte medium behind the knot on the bow, that just ensures that when this card goes through the mail, the bow won't come undone and the design won't kind of <laughs> quote unquote unravel. Um, sometimes those envelopes get really banged up in the mail, so I like to just add a little drop of glue behind the knot to secure that in place. I'll just put something heavy on it like an acrylic block while it dries. Last, I'm going to snip those ends of the twine and I will place the vellum banner behind the decorative one and I'll secure both of those at the top with the tiny attacher stapler. And then I will use a little strong adhesive. I like to use a glue glider just because once I'm for sure that that's where it's gonna go, I didn't want this to move. So I used that adhesive on the back of my vellum tag. I didn't put any on the back of the other one because I wanted, wanted it to have a little bit of movement, movement, excuse me there. And I did bump my googly eye before it was all the way dry. So I kind of had to move any of that glue that had smeared and things like that and get it out of the way. I'm going to trim off anything that's overhanging there on the front of my card. Fix up, I'm going to go ahead and fix that eye. And then I have foam adhesive on the back of my decorative background. And I'll place that on my card base and my card is finished. For more information on these projects, please visit my blog at www.nicolemcgwork.typepad.com. The supplies I've used are all listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly scrapbooking and card making videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.